Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome, one and all, to Port Limbo. This is a new mod map out by Omatana. It's 138.11 megabytes to download. It's a small wooden map with a lot of potential for expansion, is what it says in the mod hub. There is a whole lot of history about it as well. Um, I, if you go on to Mod Hub and give it a read, it's fantastic. I won't read it all out now because there's a lot there. Um, but it's about how the island was settled um, by Scandinavian seafarers who were washed ashore in a storm. And it's brilliant. It's kind of how it all came to be. Um, we start here on the pier. And the map looks, I want to say, a little bit like this. It looks exactly like this. This is the map. Um, so we start here on the pier. We're going to head in. Uh, field prices overall pretty good um there are fields all along the edges the fertile land just inland uh it then goes up in elevation up to the more mountainous ground as we go further inland but you can get to all of this you can buy all of this and you can use all of this um the most expensive field section is that one for 230 that has a field on it um but field four there for example is 20 grand over here we've got 70 133 field five is only 31 um so field price is not too bad we've got some uh, forestry areas we can buy in sections if we want and then the other bits of land are all kind of broken up into sections we can buy as well now these aren't very expensive although they're massive because a lot of that is mountainous rocky hillside so the actual usable bit of land is a lot smaller hence the price being quite low um We've got this lovely waterfall system, waterfall there, waterfall here, a couple of waterfalls on the way down. It's it's brilliant. It's a great map. Um, Omatana has included a lot of stuff that she's released as um, mods recently. Well, not just recently, but has released as mods. We'll just go with that, I think. Um, so let's move in, first of all, to the first of the sale points. We'll get onto slot counts and stuff later on. There we go. Port Limbo. You are here. Um, so the first of the sale points is the port sail, which is right here as we come inland. Obviously the pipe work goes out there to the boats, the ships, which I think is fantastic. Um, and then as we come across, we have got our main store with our vehicle workshop for our buying, selling, customising and repairing, obviously. Uh, we can go in here. Attention to detail and level of detail is great with the pictures and all that kind of thing. Uh, and the slot count, well, I said when I do get to the slot count, it's amazing how low the slot count is when you've got sort of this sort of level of detail. Obviously, there's a lot of the map, which is grassland and stuff. That's where the slot count will come down a bit as well. Um, as we whiz across the yard here, we have got animal food. Now, this and a lot of the stuff we're going to be looking at in a minute when we go along to the farmyard was part of the... Um, the farm pack that she released recently which had um, a farm building a farm barn a buy point a sell point and you know all sorts of stuff and um, so this is the animal food buy point we'll grab a trailer and on the way back past later on we'll, we'll see what things i think it's your main crop types and i think straw and hay and grass yeah pretty sure it's those kind of things but we'll have a double check um and then we're going to whiz along as uh, fuel point just there as we go across to the next section we have got the livestock market trigger which is just here and then next to it is the barn trigger now this isn't showing the barn trigger uh, if i just go onto here and we zoom in um, it says barn on here when you click on it but if i go across one to the cell points and we go down it's not saying barn anywhere so i did try it i bought some straw from the animal food buy point just there bought it over here and sold it no problem at all so it is a sell point it's just not showing on the sell point menu at the moment so potentially there'll be a small update or something that will happen so we're going to head along to the main farmyard there's no um biogas plant on the map but there's plenty of scope and room and area for putting placeable ones down as we go along there are no custom crops on the map it's standard crop types there are um contracts available what else is seasons ready it is precision farming ready and there are also 30 treasures to be found hmm now as i walked along here earlier i did think to myself because of the nature and the history of the island and the piratical nature of how things came to be why do i just get this image in my head of, of 
yeah, people hanging from the <laughs> all along the road, kind of. I don't know. It's just a horrible thought. <laughs> but there we go. It just yeah. So I came along. I thought, yeah, that looks very um, you know. You never know. You never know. History is not always remembered for being great. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, right. So we're at the main farmyard. Now, slot count. Now is a good time to talk about slot count. On New Farmer, the slot count is 532 out of 1,299, which is pretty impressive because we do start with a fair amount of things. If we go into here again and go to Garage, we start with Fent Favorite 511C, a Fiat 1300 DT, which we're going to get to later, and I'll explain a bit about that. We've got a K7210 Pro. We've got a Rossell Mash 330 Harvester, Farm Tech Trailer, header for the Rossell Mash, We've got um, corn header for the Russell mash. We've then got plow, cedar, mowing equipment. Oh, um, a mower, I say mowing equipment. Mower, tedder, rake, loading wagons, some front loader gear, and then all of this stuff. Now, all this stuff that says mod, uh, Omatan, like I said, has included quite a lot of her own mods within this. Not as additional required mods. They're built into the map. Um, but we do start with the farm barn, silo wood, wooden sheds, um, farm shop, uh, water well, and farmhouse red. That's part and parcel of our 532 out of 1299 slots. Now, before I go on to show you the mods that are available, because there's a load of farmhouses and all sorts of stuff, um, there are some hidden slots, so to speak. I'm going to hand you over to Past Mr. Silly P. Hi there, this is Past Mr. Silly P. I'm doing this on behalf of future Mr. Silly P. Uh, I'm assuming he's got to the point where he's talking about slot counts. If he hasn't already mentioned it, the slot count on New Farmer is 532 out of 1299. If you come on to here on the Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, and at the moment I'm on Start From Scratch, the slot count comes down from 532 to 394. Now this caught me out initially because I was over at the main port where I started and I thought, right, let's just check things out. So I came onto here, clicked on garage. It says 394 out of 1299 and owned items is completely blank. I thought, well, that's all right. Slot counts come down a big old chunk, 394. That's workable. Absolutely it is. So I took a trundle out here just to make sure and all the buildings were here. And I thought, hang on a minute. On new farmer you own all of these so why are they not showing up as on your slot count and owned because on farm manager and start from scratch you don't own the land so if we go on to here that plot now if i buy the plot so it's kind of kind of hidden slots in a way uh, if we buy the plot of land and now we go onto our garage they're all now showing as slots available, or say slots available, slots being used is what I'm going to say. Um, so, the sleep trigger is not fixed then, we can sell it, but you've got to buy this plot of land first, you can then sell everything or part of things, just the farmhouse, odds and ends, or all of it if you want to. So what I'm going to do is we'll get rid of all of it just to see how low you can get the slot count completely. 340, so 532 to 394. But if you want to get rid of everything, once you've bought this little plot, you can get a slot count down to 340. Or you can sell parts of, or you, know, you haven't got to do all of it, you can sell the well, the, you know, the vehicle workshop, the shop, and you can keep the silo. You might want, not want to keep both silo. I mean, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. Um, so you can get the slot count down to 340, which is quite good news. Um, I'm going to pass you back to Miss Silly P, and hopefully you'll carry on in the usual skill and style that... He does most things. He's a great guy, isn't he? What a lovely chap. Um, so anyway, yeah, as you can see, um, you just have to be a little bit wary because they are there, although they're not technically showing until you buy the plot of land, and that's how it goes. So as far as those um, mods, there's no modded animal pens been put in by Amatana. And the miscellaneous, though, we've got the beach selling station, wood chip selling station, restaurant selling station, Animal dealer barn, farm shop, water well. Uh, the Berta's Imbis selling station we had a, a while back. Treasure selling, se treasure selling station, holiday homes for passive income. Uh, and then under decoration, we've got the restaurant, the same sale point but decoration, standing tables, decorative houses. We've got some decorative objects to place around the place. 
including these bridges as well, which is quite cool. Uh, very Alien Jim-esque. Oh, I, like, I do like all the additional stuff. It's very cool. Uh, then under Sheds, they came as part of the farm pack. Uh, we had, was it last week? I think it was last week. And then under Farmhouses, we've got Farmhouse Red, which we start with. Then you've got these Farmhouse Wood, which are a lot cheaper. So if you wanted to sell the main farmhouse and start with something smaller, you could kind of simulate building up to a bigger building, or however you wanted to go about it. But these are all available under the... Um, modded gear from Omotana, which is all very lovely. Now, what I was intended to do was get a different vehicle, but I think I'm going to... Oh, right. Now, if you didn't watch my mod review, firstly, why? They're very good. Um, I'm deeply offended, and I won't be sending you a Christmas card. But the um, farmhouse is completely intractable. Um... We can go in and around it, all the building, all the doors open, all the rooms are accessible. The sleep trigger for this one is here. I think the one that we got the other day didn't have a sleep trigger built in, which was actually quite handy, but this one does. Um, we've got a workshop trigger at the front here. And as far as silos go, this is the, the farm barn. This has got a 10 million litre capacity, but it takes your forage crops. So it's kind of like a hayloft, but a little bit more extended, not just hay and straw. Uh, it does other crop types too. But again, this has got um, loads of detail. We've got the steps going all the way up. We can open up the, all the doors all the way through. We've got a kind of usable hayloft above. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Whoops. Uh, next door to that, we've got our own farm shop where we can sell our own produce, which is rather handy. Fantastically detailed as well. Excellent farm chips. The best kind. And then we've got the main silo, which is also 10 million litres, but that will do everything, including all the forage crops as well. So potentially you've got 20 million litre capacity at the farm of all of your forage crops. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's brilliant. So no shortage of silo space. But like I say, if you don't want to go down that route, sell them off and, and place a different silo. You don't, you don't have to have it fixed. It's not fixed in place. You can do whatever you wish with it. Now, I'm going to grab the tractor for the drive out. On the way back, I'm going to pick up a trailer. So, we're going to continue heading east from the main farm. There's a little inlet up here. Again, so picturesque. It's, uh, you know, and I like this. It's a little bit like, um, was it Ishkia? I always say it wrong, Ishkia Farm. I like that idea of that kind of floodplain plateau with that really rich soil just inland from the coast. And then that sweep up as the ground, the foothills gradually work up into the mountains towards the centre of the island. It gives it a really nice kind of feel. So as we head around here, we're heading to... Uh, where are we? Oh, I've missed one on the way past. We'll get back to that one. Uh, the grain mill is the first place we're coming to. And then just across the little estuary, yeah, I suppose it is really, we've got the sawmill. So the grain mill cell point is just here. We've got to go back the other way anyway. Um, so while we're here, it's interesting and probably worth pointing out, when I talk, talk, tell her about 30 treasures, one the sell point I just missed is treasure sale. There's also one that says Trollo. At the bottom there it says Trollo. If I go right to the end, there's a new symbol added in on here, and it's treasure. Now one of those says 16,749, and that of Trollo says 44,076. Now there are 30 treasures to locate around the map. I found two or three. I'll show you one, just so you get an idea of what they look like. Um, as we come around the back of here, we've got these little golden statues. That one's of a pig. You pick them up, a little bit like the gold bars on Spectacle. And you put them into whatever vehicle. Obviously, you can't put them into the cab or tractor, but if you've got a trailer or something, you take them with you. You can take them to Treasure Sale, or you can take them to Trollo, and you can sell them. Make a bit of extra cash. But again... If you don't want to, if you think that's cheating, if you don't want to add in any extra money with any, without any effort, then don't do them. Leave them where they are. You haven't got to pick them up. It's not like the gold coins and nuggets used to be, that as you walked over them, you just kind of automatically collected them. Um, these you have to actually pick up. So if you don't want them, don't worry about it. You haven't got to pick them up. It's all good. So yeah, that's what one looks like, and there are a few 
knocking around the map to be located. So as we cross over the bridge, we've got the sawmill sail point this side, so we've got wood chips there and our lumber sail point just there. And we're going to head back in because just over the bridge in the field is the Fiat. Now I said I was going to talk about the Fiat later on and the Fiat is in the field because it's very very old. It's been here quite a long time and I assume it's been kind of left abandoned in the field. When you check in the menu for your vehicles that's showing as it being in the red for repair at 19% I think and whereas the others are all brand new or only a day or so old that's a hundred days old. <laughs> Um, so if we go to this menu and we go across to our vehicles and we scroll down, you see the one that's in red? We've got zero days or one day on a lot of the gear. Um, and that says 100 days, although that's interesting. That Lizard treasure, all those lizard treasures are all listed under vehicles. Maybe that's the only way they could do it. Potentially. Anyway, um, yeah, 100 days. So it needs a bit of TLC, a bit of a clean-up, bit of maintenance, but it is yours to use, you do own it. Um, right, so what we're going to do is head back, and this time I'm going to take in the treasure sale, which I was supposed to do. Should we cut across that way? The field uh, might have crop in it, but we can go around the edge. Now, I'm not going to go all the way inland, but there's, there's a winding road that leads you up onto the higher plateaus as you go up. And you can go up, there's another bridge over the water at the top. Um, I would imagine if you're going to go looking for those treasure items, you're going to have to scour around. I, If it was me, I would be thinking you're going to find at least one up and around the waterfall somewhere. I, I would think. I mean, that is potentially a guess. I haven't seen one up there, but I would think. If, you know, if I was making a map, I'd definitely put one up there. So I'm going to grab a trailer. And the treasure sail point, I kind of walked past it. It looks like a little shed. You'll see there's a little red shed over there. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, it doesn't matter, does it really? That one's all in front of it. Let's grab that. Yeah, so just on our right, coming up, we've got Treasure Sale. That's another sale point. And then we're going to head into the, I say town. I suppose it is the town, really. There you go. That's Treasure Sale. I'm going to show you the animal food buy point, just some of the things that are available. I don't think it does liquids. I'm pretty sure it's just the things that I'm showing you now. I mean, I could be wrong. It might do liquid fertilizer and stuff like that. I'm not sure, but... I'm sure I said that when I did the mod review as well, didn't I? Or did I check it and it didn't? I'm trying to think now. Right, so we can buy straw, fertilizer, pig food, lime, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybean, corn... Potatoes, sugar beet, seeds, total mix ration, silage, grass, hay, back to straw again. So a nice variety of stuff, pretty much anything you'll need for animals. So if you don't want the hassle of having to make your own TMR, um, you can buy TMR. Or if you don't want to have to do all the stuff to get all the ingredients for TMR, you can buy the ingredients and then make your own TMR in, in a mixer. However you want to go about it, um, there are various different options. I can drop that trailer off now, actually I just left it where it was. As we come into the town itself, we've got two cell points right on top of each other. We've got the market cell point, which is just through here. I love this, it feels very... I'm, now, I've, I've been to America a couple of times, but not to this part of the world. I've seen TV programs, so they're kind of very kind of old colonial, kind of New England sort of feel. Was that right? Kind of Maine, that sort of area? I don't know, you just kind of get that vibe. Um, so market sale point is just here and then we've got the supermarket which is super because it's in a building I guess um, supermarket sale point is just here and if we head up the hill we've got the restaurant up on the hill and there's a lighthouse and you can see back over the harbour it's just lovely it's just nice you know Some of these hills for the lower horsepower tractors, I know when I first had a whiz around the map I was pulling the trailer 
Um, some of them are quite steep and it does struggle a little bit. We've got a restaurant cell point just here. Then we're going to head back down the hill and we've got the beach um, sail. Which is just out here. And then we've only got one left after that. And it would be wrong of me to say it's a nice simple map. It's not simple. I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of detail, you know, having the treasures to collect and stuff as well. And, you know, all the mods that have been added in as additional. It's not simple, but there's something very pleasant about it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that was what I was going to say. That. See that? Flickering. It only works at certain, happens at certain angles, but I've had a lot of flickering on the water, very different water sources. Although, weirdly, as I went further around the island, it stopped. So I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is the beach sail point just here. So let's have a look at the map and see where we have been. We came inland from the port there. We did all those areas here and went out to the main farm. I missed the treasure sail on the way. We went from there up to grain mill and sawmill, and then we checked out the fear. Now, like I say, um, there is a track that runs from the main village, main town. You can go across the grass here. There's a little bridge there. We can wind all the way up here, and it's quite steep, all up to there, which takes up to the higher plateaus. There's another bridge over the water here. But all of these bits are all purchasable. Then we can come back across down there, and, you know, it, it's, there's loads going on, and it's well worth a look. And if you are going to be looking for those um, all-important treasures, that's what you need to do. We came back across then, did treasure sale on the way back, market, supermarket, restaurant, and beach sale. So we've only got one left to do now, and that's all the way out here to Trollo. Troll in the dungeon. And it is, and it's brilliant. <laughs> so I'm going to do the drive all the way out there, because it's well worth it. I'll be honest, if you are brave enough, if you are brave enough, um, and you want to take your treasures out there, the payout is much higher. It's a bit of a trek. There's no other sell points out there. But it's well worth it, providing you don't disturb the troll. See little things like that, the little island there with the little white house on it. I love that. It's a bit of a drive. Do you want to go and put the kettle on or something? Make up tea. Feel free, be my guest. So the track kind of runs out of there. There are a couple of these placeable points knocking around the map, which it does say are kind of ready for farms. So if you wanted to sell everything and you don't want your farmer to be there, but you want to be all the way out here, a bit more remote, if you're a bit of a hermit type, you know, you don't, you know, don't like people. You know how things can be, but it's a bit peopley. Um, you can set your farms up further out on the place areas, or if you want to go right up into one of the plateaus, set your farm up up there. Absolutely, go for it. Uh, so the, the road has kind of run out. I say road, the track. We are going to continue because we're still not there yet. Now, the reason the payout is going to be a little bit higher up here is because of the effort required. <laughs> Because obviously, at the other sell points, you can pull up with a trailer, and if you've thrown a load of those treasures in the back of a trailer, just unload them for your trailer from your trailer. From here, though, it's a little bit trickier because you can't really take a trailer in from here. But if we go in here, and this is great, I, honestly, it, it's another one of those things where you feel like a kid again. You, you kind of, as you went, I went through, I thought, oh man, and just had this big grin on my face. It's brilliant. So we've got a cave up here and in the cave I'll be quiet for a second But there is a cell point here. There is a big club, look. Troll's club behind his but it's too heavy, you can't pick it up, but it's clever in it. It's, I don't think any of these ones we can actually pick up. Oh hang on. Can we? Oh no. I thought 
thought it was, thought it was the bowl I could pick up. I don't think we can. No. I don't think we can pick up these either. We have to bring our own. But yeah. You bring them here. That's the Trollo cell point. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? But brilliant. And that's it. That's the map. That's Port Limbo by Omatana. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.